Alexander Graham Bell. Alexander Graham Bell is most famous for his invention of the telephone. However, he had created other inventions. Bell was born on March 3, 1847 in Edinburgh, Scotland. Bell's parents were Alexander Melville Bell and Eliza Gray Sindems Bell, and they named Bell after his grandfather. Bell had two brothers, both of whom died from tuberculosis. Bell was homeschooled for most of his life by his mother. However, he received one year of private education and two years at Edinburgh's Royal High School. Alexander displayed a great ability to solve problems at a young age. When he was 12 years old, he noticed how slow the process of husking wheat grain was. Bell went home and decided to build a device with rotating paddles and nail brushes that facilitated the husking grain process. After experiencing different career paths, 16-year-old Bell decided to join his father in his work with the deaf and soon became the head supervisor of his father's London operations. Bell became interested in the science of sound since his wife and mother were both deaf. In July 1870, Bell and his family decided to settle in Ontario, Canada, where Bell continued his studies of the human voice. In 1872, Bell established a school for the deaf in Boston. He soon became a professor in speech and vocal physiology at Boston University. While he was working as a professor, he created a few devices to help the deaf learn to speak. The idea of creating a telephone occurred in Bell's mind in 1874 while he was trying to transmit speech telegraphically. After receiving some funding, Bell managed to create the telephone with the help of his assistant, Thomas Watson. The first words that were spoken through the telephone were by Alexander, which he said, Mr. Watson, come here, I want to see you. The Bell Telephone Company was founded in 1877 after many mergers and name changes. Today it is known as AT&T. Later in life, Bell started experimenting with ways on detecting metal in wounds, which led to the creation of the metal detector. He also helped Thomas Edison with the commercial practicality of the phonograph. Bell is constantly engaged in scientific experiments, and with the wealth of the telephone, he was able to assist the careers of other scientists. In 1890, he founded the Alexander Graham Bell Association for the Deaf. Alexander Graham Bell died in 1922 at his summer home in Nova Scotia. As a tribute, people throughout North America refrained from making phone calls during his burial so that the telephone would remain silent.